What's up you guys, Calvin here and welcome back to my channel where today we are doing a reaction video you guys asked for, you guys love these videos and I know I made a video yesterday about why I make hateful content but guess what, we're back with the fucking hateful content bitches! That was a little much but it's okay, I'm used to being extra. So today we're gonna be going to a brand new platform, we've been on YouTube, we've been on Tumblr, we've even been on Twitter, today we are taking to Instagram where I didn't know this, but SJWs, they lurk there too. So I had you guys send me some funny SJW Instagram accounts that I'm gonna look at and react to because I'm a trans guy. I'm 18 if you don't watch my videos. A lot of people somehow get them in their recommended and watch and they're like, why is this kid so annoying and why does he talk so much? And the answer is, I don't know, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. Probably like actually so. <laughs> I didn't take my meds today. <laughs> but yeah, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you need to like get on that right now my pictures are um, low quality. I'm just kidding. I feel like my Instagram is is pretty A1. I just took a screenshot of my page, so I will put that right here. As you can tell, my bio, fresh out of fucks forever. It's a Lana Del Rey quote. I'm obsessed with Lana. If, if you're not obsessed with Lana, you, sh you should get on that. She's really good. But I'm scared. I really, really actually am scared. Also, I'm not going to be putting the ats of anybody because I don't want you guys to like harass them but we will be showing pictures and we will be uh, reacting to some things so the first person that i'm reacting to um a few people sent me this account so i'm gonna go into it put it in my search bar so the first thing i see is 19 non-binary trans guy he him but then i also see the profile picture um and i'm like oh wow <laughs> this this is a lot <laughs> um well the first thing i see is this picture that says daddy. Also, even though I am uwu soft, I am still the daddy. Thank you for reading. Um, yes, you're totally a daddy. I can't imagine a girl calling this person daddy. I just had a really weird thought in my mind. Nope, I'm just gonna pretend I didn't, I didn't think about that just now. Even though I am a fab assigned female at birth, I'm assigned female at birth. Would you have ever guessed? Probably not. Even though I am AFAB, I don't consider myself female. Don't refer to me as such, unless you're my doctor. These titties, male. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> I need to like adjust my camera. I feel like it's a little weird. These titties, male. These rolls, male. This pussy. <laughs> Yo, I really can't right now. Male. <laughs> what do the comments say? 100% male. Look at my brother's cute little tummy. I'm all for body positivity. Like, if you are trans and body positive, good for fucking you. I'm body positive about, like... That's awkward. But, um, anyways. Good for you. Um, but don't sit here and pretend like female anatomy isn't female... I'm pretty sure that your pussy is inherently female and that tits are also inherently female. Uh, that's why I got top surgery and I'm getting bottom surgery because I want to be male, not female. That's the point of being FTM. Female to male. <laughs> Things non-binary people can do. Use she, her, or he, him pronouns. All right, I get it. I understand that a lot of people, they present more so on one side. Not everyone's 100% androgynous who identifies as non-binary. But I, I don't really understand how you can identify as a non-binary guy. If you're non-binary, doesn't that mean you're ne neither one? Wear whatever they want. Use they, them, or neo- We stop at the neo pronoun. Zizen, that's not a real thing. Zim, zer, z, zip. Z z ah, all these weird things that these people have fucking come up with. No, we're not using them. They're canceled. That's not a real thing. Just if you don't like he or she, use they them. Like, even that's a little like, I mess up sometimes, but like, I try, all right? Stop. Please, stop with the fucking weird ass pronouns. Call themselves men slash women. No, that makes absolutely no sense. If you're non binary, like, neither binary gender then why are you calling yourself a man or a woman that's like doesn't that like negate the whole purpose of identifying as non-binary use multiple pronouns present in a way that appears binary and matches their gender assigned at birth see that i just i don't get that like unless you can't transition 
or your family is unsupportive or like you don't have the funds necessary to like dress a certain way then like why would you say you're trans if you're comfortable presenting the way that you were born like trans like trans transgender has trans in the title transition is it's it's in the title like i don't get it at all any damn thing yeah you can like murder someone and it's completely fine as long as you're non-binary <laughs> yo said still a boy <laughs> Yo, the fucking caption right now. This one just says glitter boy, and I really can't right now. Reminder that if you purposely misgender trans people for any reason, you are scum and should choke. Do you think that she likes being choked? I'm not gonna say nothing. I'm not gonna say nothing. I like can't believe this is real. I, I'm like going through this and I, I cannot believe this is real. This one says, for some reason I woke up to assholes on my posts. Here's the thing, I'm a fat trans guy, that's fine. But when we get into the next part, that's where I'm like, N stop. Who likes his body most of the time and shows it off with femme clothing. Mmm, shocking, right? <laughs> <laughs> you can hate me all you want, but I have a right to being feminine and loving it despite my gender identity. Here's the thing. It's fine to be feminine. I talk with my hands and I fucking do, I do tons of feminine things. Not everybody is completely masculine or completely feminine. Like all of us are different and all of us express ourselves in different ways. But like, if you're trans, you have to have dysphoria. There has to be a reason that you're calling yourself trans. But this person literally has not transitioned in any way, presents completely as female, but then gets mad when people say that she's a girl i don't get it i don't get it at all like i really truly do not i'm getting off this page all right this next one a lot of people sent to me i'm scared um the account name is already freaking me out oh wow queer artist male he him you're oh at least they actually like like i feel like this person could pass as male if it wasn't for all the makeup. This one says, We're validating non-passing trans people today whether you're unable to pass due to parental transphobia or because the things you have to do in order to pass are too hard or numerous. Being trans isn't about passing. Now, see, that's, that's okay. I get that. Being trans isn't about passing. Being trans is about having dysphoria and having your brain not match your body. That's literally what being trans is. But... Um, then we get to this part that says being trans isn't about anything. What do you mean being trans isn't about anything? That literally, that makes all of us, every single one of us, sound like we are just doing this because I, I totally went through like years of like struggle and hating myself and like having to get surgery and inject myself with steroids just for fun. It was so much fun to do all that stuff, especially in the day that I got surgery and I literally started having a panic attack because I was scared to die, but I literally had to get surgery because I would actually kill myself if I didn't. Or the fact that like, I'm gonna go and get another surgery that's like 10 times bigger than the one I already got. Because if I don't, I literally will like be miserable every day of my life. But it's not about anything, you know? It's about nothing at all. Uh, I just... Uh, I can't. I can't. This one says, what a beautiful morning to tell your local non-binary people that they're valid, their identity is a real look. Okay. If your gender is like some wild shit, I'm not gonna tell you that it's real. It's not. Like, so if you don't know a lot about trans stuff, I'm gonna like give you a quick T TLDR. The reason trans people exist is because during development, your brain develops one way and your body develops another way. So it's it's actually, as much as people don't like to say it, it is a mental thing. Like your body obviously gets X, like your dad gives you an X or a Y chromosome. For me, it was an X chromosome, right? So I was developing a female body, but somehow my brain developed as male. There are male and female brains. That's a thing. Like, it's actually, like, I'm going to link a video, ASAP Science's video on the science behind being transgender. That video is factual. I already knew everything they said. There's this, like, misconception that somehow there's not male or female brains, but that's just entirely not true. Like, it's not like every male brain is the same or every female brain is the same, but there are differences. And it has been observed 
that trans males' brains match that of a cis male and trans women's brains match that of a cis woman. Woman, wom woman. So what I'm saying is that the existence of non-binary, and a lot of people were asking me about why I believe in it, like why I, you know, I, I think it like actually be a scientifically proven thing is because there is that chance that like, okay, so our brain, again, like I said, it's never going to be completely one or the other. It's a mosaic of a lot of things, but there are, there's usually a standout difference between male and female brains, but there's the chance for those differences to be leveled out, like in the middle, like to the point where your brain is not clocking your I don't know how I don't know what word it would be your brain isn't like somewhere in the middle of the two but the thing is it's like intersex okay intersex people it's not some like new gender people who are intersex have a combination of male and female traits it's not going to be male or female but it's a combination of them both in some way so non-binary is kind of the same way but more of like an in-between where like you're not a male but you're not a female but like in between them. So that's why, you know, when I'm saying like, I believe in like a gender non-binary where like you just are not either one, but demi gender, fucking fox gender, chaos gender, autism gender that they've come up with. None of that shit is real. Like if you identify as that, it is not a real thing. I am sorry. Like that is just not a real thing. Like that, is, there is in no way is that a scientifically or medically proven thing. I don't understand where these people like why like why do you why do you say the things that you do like it's just crazy to me obviously and i mean if somebody has dysphoria and they go by they them pronouns like i'm gonna be nice to you because having dysphoria is not fun like in in any capacity like my story my dysphoria is very extreme and even if somebody doesn't have as extreme dysphoria and it's like not a lot compared to mine like they're still trans because you have dysphoria that's the one thing that you need to have to be transgender is dysphoria a reason to transition and so for me like if i'm you know if somebody has dysphoria and calling them they them pronouns is gonna fucking alleviate the dysphoria yes i will do it but these crazy genders that y'all have come up with no it's not a real thing okay this person really isn't so Bad. Like it looks like they dress pretty androgynous and like the makeup is kind of throwing me off because like that's probably The only reason they wouldn't pass they seem like they're not posting too much like, you know crazy stuff. So god This account looks so fun. Oh, I I the name is just oh, of course True scum don't interact. This has to be satire literally stop talking about star wars and it's literally fucking i cannot with this no 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 no. star wars is insulting to space gender people including demi space and magi space members of the spectrum true scum need to be stopped um <laughs> shut the fuck up <laughs> no, i can't right now <laughs> they really said to stop talking about star wars Hi guys, my name is Halo and I'm astral gender, which means I strongly identify with the stars and cosmos. My gender feelings can be also shift based off of the movements of the planets and stars. I'm also pans... No, prey sexual, which means I only feel sexual attraction to deities and cosmic entities. Respect me, please. Ooh, woo. Uh, <laughs> that was a lot. That really was... That was a lot. No, you're not astral fucking gender. We need to like get a rocket ship, like send all these people up into space and be like, oh yeah, breathe in the space there, you little astral gender fucking snowflake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll be like, you wanna go up into space? And they'd be like, mm, no. <laughs> oh God. My name is Saturn. My pronouns are Zay and Zay self. I am an aqua gender gender uwu. This literally can't be real. I don't believe that this is real at all. I truly don't. This one, he, this guy just looks like a normal trans guy. <gasps> he did not say that, bro. Now I see why you sent this to me. Yo said, I think being trans is a blessing. <laughs> and it's something I'm thankful for every single day. Yo, literally, fuck you. Like, dead ass, fuck you. Like, that is the... <clears throat> I'm gonna need you to sit down and take a look back. Bro, being trans is like the worst shit ever. Like, okay, people always come for me, they're like, you said it's the worst thing ever, like you're so insensitive to people with like disabilities. And I'm like, look, when I say it's the worst thing ever, like, yeah, I would much rather be trans than like have no arms or no legs. But like, fuck, like if somebody was like, 
you can be cisgender if you give up an arm, I would 1000% do it. I, I already basically do. Like, they do phalloplasty and they take, like, your whole part. If somebody said you have to give up an arm to be, tra to be cisgender, I would do it in one fucking second, bro. Like, this guy is a normal trans guy, you know what I mean? Wow, he really said that being trans is a blessing. Oh, I need feminism because I'm a boy who's not ashamed of his vagina. Um, all I can say is this is getting demonetized. So, fuck it. What are you talking about, bro? I truly don't understand. I truly don't understand these people. Like, yo really got out of bed and he really said, let me, let me write on a sign. Um, I'm a boy who loves my pussy. Like, obviously the kid is trans. Like, he has dysphoria. Like, he's, he's a trans guy. But like, what's up? Hello. So if my footage looks a little bit different right now, I took a break from recording because the girl I like called me. So I would rather talk to the girl I like than react to a bunch of annoying SJWs. So we're back to our uh, fuckboy friend who is not ashamed of his pussy. All right, well, this guy is actually a trans dude, so I'm not going to roast him too much. Um, I'm gonna move on to our next SJW pal. This username is a lot. I wish I could tell it to you guys, but it's, it's a lot. I think that this is like a, a too cute account. Orientation gender. When your gender is your orientation or when your orientation is so intrinsically tied to your gender that you absolutely cannot separate the two. Gay gender? Oh my fucking god. I really cannot right now. Wyoming gender! Wow. Okay, I'm, I'm getting off of this. I really can't. Wyoming gender? Bro, all my Wyoming viewers out there, do you identify as Wyoming gender? I identify as Maryland gender. All right, we're gonna do one last account. I really cannot be bothered to like go through a bunch of random genders um, because I hate that and that's what Tumblr's for. So let's see, this is another one of them. I just open it and I see pronouns do not have to correlate with gender. How does that make any sense? If you're a dude, why would you go by she? Unless you're closeted. That makes, I, I literally can't look at this anymore. All right, I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys got a good laugh out of it, all these Instagram trans trenders, Instagram SJWs. I hope made you laugh. Um, I like to make you guys laugh, and I like you guys to really, you know, relate to, like, how I'm feeling, because, like, we all have feelings, so. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out, guys.